second attempt. Daddy and son has the same haircut. the situation of uh, the tattoo uh, post on Facebook. I posted this picture. It created uh, conversations. I just want to also take this time to just clarify a few things. I don't have a tattoo yet. But this is, this is the thing. I have grown up challenging what I have been taught uh, because too long we have lost too many young people um, in the church because of the religious. But it's only a matter of time when they, when they get smart, they're going to turn around and ask questions. It is truth that sets free, not by fear of condemnation and hell and all that. That being said, um, I gave in to a lot of traditions without asking, without reasoning. Um, but when you are in situations where your belief is challenged, that is the only time when you have to look deep. Then I had to find out that white shirt is not compulsory in the Bible. And the same thing with tattoos. 
we just put boundaries and barriers that are not biblical doctrines uh, out of the fear of losing them, which I don't think is the right approach. Uh, for example, I know that many places in India with different religions, they have they have things that are uh, tattooed for their religion. And I 200% believe that that is wrong. But to say that everything is wrong is not right. It's the same thing with ornaments. I do believe that excess is wrong. I believe that when you flaunt it, it is wrong. I believe that when your attention becomes that and when it becomes an idol in your life, it is wrong. But don't ban ornaments. Um, it's the same thing with movies, you know, like the kid who's told, don't watch movies, don't watch movies. And then finally, he gets a chance to watch movies. He watches all the movies that he missed all the rest of the 20 years of his life. That's what we are doing to our young people in our church. You, you keep putting these legalistic rules. I think instead of doing that, we have to be honest and show them the problems behind it. That is when I think truth will prevail. Otherwise, it's only as long as you can keep them in your pen and as long as you can keep them in your fence um, under your, your wings, maybe they won't question your authority and do whatever you say. But once they get out, once they go into their college, once they get into the world, they are going to be so confused and distorted because truth has not set them free. So instead of teaching them the problems behind it, we just, just just like to bring fire and brimstone and just shut it down. Uh, in the Bible, when it is mentioned in Leviticus, as usual, we don't want to consider the context. It was talking about Israelites uh, mimicking the Gentiles by doing this as worship and idolatry and witchcraft and sorcery and those practices. In, in, this, in Leviticus also, it's against you trimming your side locks and trimming your beard. Yet we do that then we get upset when somebody grows beard. Yet, we don't want them to get tattoo. So where exactly is the balance? How do you, on what basis do you pick and choose what you're going to obey and what you're not going? Everyone who is against tattoo, you should also not trim your side lock. You should not trim your beard. What about the sea creatures that was banned? Lobster is banned. Uh, crabs, juicy crabs are banned. Uh, shrimps are banned. Um, the sea animals um, that are on the bed of the sea are also banned. In, in the Old Testament, there were 612 uh, um, laws to be followed. Out of the 612, it was divided into civil, ceremonial, and moral laws. These are the three laws. In the New Testament, the only thing that we continue to follow are the moral laws um, that Jesus continued to speak. All these laws in the Old Testament that is mentioned in the New Testament uh, are the ones that we continue to follow. Um, somebody was quoting the verse, but the scripture says, do not defile your body because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's a, it's a good verse. But the only problem is that, what is your definition of defiling? I don't think having a, a tattoo that says Jesus on my skin is defiling. For me, that I am proud of it. So that is where I say, instead of creating a doctrine on what we like, um, and, and, and just be honest to our young people saying that, hey, this is how the perspective is and, and is not a doctrine. What I believe that we should do is that explain to our young people that, hey, uh, there's dangers behind it. You cannot get stuff that is going to uh, open doors for the enemy in your life, open windows for the enemy in your life. And we have to teach them how we can protect them and what are the things that they need to do to to safeguard um, their walk with God. Now there's also personal preference. Um, you, as parents, we can be honest with them saying, hey, I'm uncomfortable with it. Would you wait um, until you are out of the house to do what you want? I think we have to bring balance into the church and, and not just, just have traditional perspectives of, okay, this is what everybody does in our church. Don't question it, don't, don't stir the pot. Um, I think too long we have allowed ourselves to judge people by what you see on the outside and totally ignored our, uh, our struggles inside. We have totally uh, forgotten about dealing with the sin in our lives. We are so focused on what people wear and how they look. Um, 
but what defiles us is not what is on the outside is what goes inside uh, the thoughts the hearts the motives those are the areas that we need to fight those are the areas that daily we need to put to death like i said nobody should rush to one pray about it ask the lord to give you the conviction ask the lord to clarify your thoughts never do it with doubts in your heart and never do it as a rebellion never do it as going against if you have a leadership that does not believe in it i i think god would require you to submit to that leadership uh, <laughs> so i know it's it's a dicey situation but i think there's blessing in in honoring uh, hope that helps going home i can't take it anymore i feel like chills and and heavy headed and eyes burning feel feverish productive day but need to rest it off a lot of exciting things ahead one good news is that my next single uh, should be available by this week don't forget to subscribe to you so that you'll be notified when the song is available Did you miss that? Mm, I think. 